iPhone 12 motherboard. Let me show you what's going on today. And we have ourselves a ripped off 5G connector. So that will be our test today is to replace that 5G, uh, I'm sorry, 5G antenna. Uh, that will be our uh, test today is to replace the 5G antenna. Luckily they didn't rip it off this. Uh, according to the tech it was half ripped and it just kind of fell apart when they were dealing with the backing of the phone so unfortunately so uh yep that'll be our test replace the antenna this will be the first one of these i've done but uh seems pretty straightforward we'll discover the best uh tactic for it together okay so these are i expect what i'm going to be doing here with this is just using my iron to remove it and we'll probably just have to use our iron to solder it. It's a little odd though, because it looks like it's almost a ball grid array type thing. So that's a little different. These are the temperatures I expect to use. We could use hot air. I don't see us using hot air, but it may end up being a situation where we need to. Um, we we'll definitely won't use hot air to remove it, but these are the temperatures on the irons I'm expecting. So while I'll set up my equipment, get our fume extractor going in and get all my temperatures set on the right thing. All right, so get it set in my mind. The orientation. So we're coming through up to this corner. I may just try to use the big iron to get this thing off. Very careful here. We may have to use hot air. I was hoping to avoid that. Maybe also be glued on, which is not helping. Yeah, I feel like it is glued on. Oh, nope, there are definitely balls there. Okay, so the balls definitely extend out. Good to know. There we go, we're starting to get movement. There we go. Excellent. No pull pads. That's good. That's pretty different. Interesting. Okay. So let's proceed. I think we will clean the manufacturer solder off this. carefully just gliding we're not putting any pressure and if you feel any uh, obstruction stop uh, probably going to want to remove that glue too Okay, looks nice and clean. I'm gonna take a little closer look at this 5G antenna. See what needs to be done here. Oh boy. That's gonna be terribly fun to align. Well, they didn't make this very easy on these, did they? You would typically want windows It makes it really difficult to align. 
One's a pull, they said. Pull may be easier to deal with. Uh, well, not if it's missing all of its pads. What the hell? Pull definitely will not be easier to deal with. It has no point in having alignment marks that you can't see on the other side. Well, good news, bad news. Bad news is there's no videos on this. Good news is I guess I will be one of the first. I guess that's good news. I'm okay with not being the first. Stick it down. Yeah, that's not staying. All right, if the sticky stuff ain't gonna work, I'm probably gonna put a little small layer of flux. Again, we will use the STS Telecom toothpick method, so we can just get a little bit on there. I don't want a lot. And then we'll spread it out. And probably more than I wanted. And I have a broken toothpick, which is conveniently Got a little flat side to it. Wish me luck. definitely soldered on there but we're really not going to know how I did I may have to lower that temperature down from 420 when replacing all right well at this point I think they will have to test it and see okay anyway my camera froze uh, what I was saying is we'll have to just take it to the shop let them uh, test it I put the little extra piece on there. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's on there. And uh, see how it does. I will come back with an update once I know. Okay, I heard back from the uh, client and everything checked out well and worked well and was good to go. So that's really it for this repair. In summary, we had a ripped uh, 5G antenna on an iPhone, iPhone 12 and we had to work out how to replace that that was the first one we've ever done so it was interesting uh i don't really like the third party uh uh antenna offerings at the moment because they don't really offer a window for the alignment marks which you know complicates things uh i did figure it out and the only way i can really describe it is when you're when you're running the iron over there you can kind of feel the balls for the lack of a better word crunch down and you just have to run it over there and get all of them to crunch down basically that's the best way i can describe it it's not a great description but anyway uh if you have any questions about the equipment i use in this video take a look in the description below uh everything's amazon linked down there so if you click on any of those links and buy anything during that session a small portion of your purchase will go to support the channel and we'd be greatly appreciative uh you don't have to buy any of the equipment specifically um there's also some other support links in the description if you want to take advantage of those instead um if you have any uh i'm sorry if you like the video uh, hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like it hit the subscribe button and notification bell and you'll know when i post videos uh, if you have any questions please post them in the description below um that's really all i have to ask of you i appreciate you watching see you next time